Hello everyone, this is Niven, and welcome to my guide for creating levels in the Distance Level Editor. I will be explaining how to create your track, how to morph pieces of the track, create obstacles, checkpoints, buildings, and overall just completely finish your track. Let's get started. Before you want to create a track, you want to understand what type of uh, track you want. So, we'll call this the planning stage. Do you want what kind of game mode do you want this to have? Do you want it to be a sprint? Do you want it to be a challenge? Or do you want it to be a uh, reverse tag mode? It's really all up to you, and the level editor inc includes tools to create all these uh, levels. The level I'm going to be focusing on is sprint, and from sprint, you can create your challenge levels and your reverse tag levels. You want to know what the basic structure of your track will be. Do you want it to have 180 degree spins? Do you want it to have a lot of saws? Do you want this to be a laser oriented level? It's all up to you, it's all up to the user to understand how much they want for their map. So, I'll just bring up MS Paint right now. Let's just design a quick map to create. So, we'll call this the starting area right here. This is the start. Uh, I want my map to go straight. Let's make it to the left, have a little degree right here. We can have some obstacles right here, maybe some saws or some lasers. Put a laser right there. And then we'll have it go upwards. This will be indicating up. And we'll have maybe a 180 degree spin right here. So it'll go like this. If that makes any sense. It'll make sense in the editor. Um, and then from here, it'll go up. We'll continue over here. We'll have checkpoints. And I'll create a teleporter tutorial a little bit later. I won't be focusing on that much now. Just sort of the basic uh, structure of your level. So I'll go up and then we'll have this to be the end. So in this guide I'll be teaching you how to create these track pieces, how to create these angles, um, I'll put, explain how to put these buildings in the background, how to create all of this debris everywhere, the props, the lighting, everything. I'll be explaining how to do this in my guide. So. This is just a rough sketch of how to what my level might be. Let's put this to the side as a reference. So we're going with the sprint level right now. So let's open up distance and let's go to the level editor. So what I usually do in the level editor, I get rid of the spawn car spawner first. Um, I'm going to be placing my own car spawner in multiple places to test out whether a section of the track I do like or not like. I, mean, I can turn off the music right now. The cold wind is the one that doesn't have music, I think. Oh, let's go to none. How about that? It's a bit better. So, actually, before I get started, I'm going to teach, teach you the basic controls for this, actually. Um, right click and hold is to drag your camera around this uh, plane. Um, left click and drag is to create this box so you can select multiple objects. Clicking left click once creates this uh, cursor and waypoint for your uh, object spawns. Uh, mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And then once you create an object and click on it with left click and press middle mouse, the camera will zoom in onto it. It's, that's very useful because I see myself getting stuck with the camera, I get too slow. If you just click middle mouse onto something, it will focus on it and reset your zoom in level. Alt and hold left click, or er, sorry, right click. Hold down Alt and right click to zoom in a specific amount so you don't have to have like a click for each mouse wheel, you can just do this. And then hold Control and click right click and you make it so that you look around right here. All this is very important and it's pretty useful. Also, another thing is middle mouse and you can drag your map around like this. Um, I will go uh, cover each keyboard shortcut also along the way. So I won't just cover it right now, I'll just do it along the way with everything. Uh, so I'll just explain everything. Your name of the map right here, we'll just call this Test Track. Create new level, open. All this is very, uh, what to say, uh, explanatory, self explanatory. Um, we can go, the tools is very important, especially these tools. They don't have a specific key binding, or at least I don't think they do. Unless you want to use a rotate tool, but then you won't get the actual exact coordinates. Um, but these actually just explain each uh, key binding. If you just keep your mouse over and hover it, you see the track editor's space, which opens up the nodes for each track piece. The layers I actually do not know. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably cover that later in another tutorial, but I haven't used the layers uh, once.
properties is very important also for each track piece. If you click a uh, track piece and click the properties, you can change the color a bit. I'll explain that later. Over here on the left side, you have your library of uh, building blocks for the entire level. This is the, most, the main uh, aspect or section of the level editor right here. You have the buildings, all the normal buildings, and within those buildings you have the ancient ones, and these ones light up the music, I know this one does at least. You have the empire broken ones, which are under construction buildings, and you have the infected buildings, which are the red ones. Let's go back, and you got the decorations. This is where the, like, the key props and everything come in, the lights and everything. I'll explain how to get this working with the uh, flying uh, thing, where it, recharge, it doesn't count for your heating meter when you fly through these. Because if you spawn this right now and you fly through it, nothing will happen. I'll explain how to do that later. You got your lights and lamp posts and your flickering ones. Uh, and then within all of these props, you have other ones like the broken ones, uh, which is used in the ground zero level. The drones, holograms. I haven't kind of found a use for this yet, but I've seen Torch use it for his music syncing. Uh, you've got infected ones. I might have just spawned one actually. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you got the infected props right here, and the posters. The posters you put on the buildings, or at least that's what I found these for. Each one of these also has, or some of them have their own entities. It's like the light is right here, and it comes with its own light entity. You don't have to create another light, it just comes with it. And then you go over here and go to the mode objects. This only pertains to what your game mode is during the level. So, for example, you want the soccer level, you want to put this mode, you want the reverse tag, you want to put this in there, all that. But the obstacles, these are also pretty important for designing your difficulty of your track. Uh, you got these basic ones, the red, red, uh, sorry, blue and white. The infected ones, these are the red ones. Uh, this one moves along the, uh, moves along a line, and this one is stationary. This one, these ones hop up, and then these are the thing, uh, the drillers. And the roller, sorry, and these ones are lasers in the circles, and they rotate as well. I'll go back, uh, and then you got the roads. You got the normal roads right here. You got the ancient road pieces. You got the broken ones. These ones you clip onto the end of the roads. You got the empire tunnel ones, the glass ones. These are my favorite type of roads, and the infected roads. Uh, also, one key thing for the roads: oops, uh, the checkpoints are in here two checkpoints. This is the end section, this is the starting section. You need both of these to create a sprint level. And then you need, or I mean sorry, you don't need, uh, but the teleporter is located in here. I'll explain how to do that later, but it's really easy. It's just when you click on it, uh, you go to your properties and you uh, say the link ID for each teleporter. Very easy. Uh, the level objects are also pretty important to know. If you can't find like something, you can just go through all this and figure out where everything is. And then the uh, level settings is also very important. Uh, you have to choose one of these, otherwise it will not show up in your level selection. You can put whatever music you want, the skybox uh, color right here, so change that, the ambient color, fogs, and then times, these are in milliseconds. So very easy level, and let's get started to designing your track. 